Kia ora koutou tamariki ma. Welcome to another lot of art with me this week. This week we've been talking about healthy fruit and vegetables and making healthy choices with food we eat. And today I thought we would take that into our art project. So this is what we're going to create. I have chosen a pear, but you need to have a think about a fruit or a vegetable that you would like to create a collage artwork modelling on. So you need to think about what colour your fruit or vegetable. Is it a red apple or a green cucumber or a yellow banana or a red capsicum? Have a think and have a couple of wee sketches of it so that you know what sort of shape it needs to be. And then you need to start gathering your equipment. And to do that, you need lots of bits and pieces of magazines and newspaper and coloured paper in the colour that you're going to use. So you're going to have to go for a bit of a hunt and have a bit of a look around. Keep following the tutorial. There's lots of photos step by step and it's really easy to follow. I can't wait to see what your product is at the end. Good luck and have fun. Okay, to do this project, you're going to need a few things. You need some plain white paper, some scissors, a pencil, a glue stick, some plain black paper or something to use for a backing at the end. Lots of little bits of paper torn up and popped in a wee bowl or something and the colour of the piece of fruit or vegetable you are going to create. And you also need some painting glue. Um, I'm going to show you in a wee moment how to make some glue out of flour and water if you don't have any at home. You can use PVA. Okay, so you need to go through some magazines and newspapers and grab some old wrapping paper and some old coloured paper and tear up lots of little bits of paper in the colour that you're going to create your piece of artwork in. Have a think about which fruit or vegetable you would like to do your art as. Is it an orange vegetable, a green vegetable, a red fruit, a purple fruit? Have a think and gather your coloured paper together in the colour that you're going to need. Once you've got all your magazine pages and newspaper pages and old wrapping paper and coloured paper together, you need to start tearing it up into little pieces. And little pieces, not very big at all. Only about a centimetre or two in size. So start on that, you need lots. Now I mentioned that you're going to need some painting glue for doing the collage work. You can make a really easy glue yourself at home with half a cup of plain flour and half a cup of cold water and you pop the plain flour into the little bowl and then pour the cold water on top and get ready to stir. You really need to stir the glue a lot. It's going to be very lumpy and you need to get it so it's quite smooth. So keep stirring until the glue is nice and smooth. Now that you've got all your resources all ready to go, you need to get your workspace ready. So get some old newspaper and lay it down on your workspace or on your table it's because you're going to be getting a bit messy. The gluing is a messy job when you're doing collage. Get yourself your, a piece of your plain white paper and lay it onto your workspace nice and ready. You can decide if it's up tall in portrait or if it's laying on its side in landscape. And now you start collaging your piece of paper. You pretty much want to cover that whole piece of white paper in little bits of coloured paper all overlapped and glued over top of each other to cover the whole page. And you need to just keep working at that. It will take a long time. Use plenty of glue. Keep pasting over top of other bits, filling up the little gaps, make the white go away. The same as all the art that you do with me. Keep filling up the gaps all the way out to almost the edge of your whole piece of paper. Notice how you can hardly see a single speck of white paper on my page anymore. 
it's now ready to leave to dry to get ready for the next part of the project. Now you can see that my piece of collaged paper is all dry. It's been left to dry for two or three hours, maybe longer in the sunshine, and it's all ready for us to move on to the next stage of your project. Let's move on. Turn your collage page over and place it face down on your workspace. Now you need to start drawing the outline shape of your fruit or vegetable that you've chosen. You need to take care that your outline shape stays within your collage pasting and covering up that you have done. You need to start cutting out your shape carefully once you're sure you're happy with the shape and it takes up most of your collaged page. Carefully cut it out. And there we go, you've cut out your fruit or vegetable in the shape that you wanted and hopefully it's in the colour that you wanted as well. You need to get yourself another piece of nice clean plain white paper and lay it down nice and flat. Take your cut out fruit or vegetable and turn it over and place it down onto your nice fresh page that you have got ready. Now you're going to turn your shape over and really cover it in lots of glue. You're going to place it into the middle of your plain white piece of paper and press down firmly. Use plenty of glue and it should look nice and straight. Once you've done that, go back to a piece of the scraps of your collaged page and turn it over and draw yourself any little extras you might need. I want a leaf for my pear. If you've got an apple, you might want a leaf or a stalk on something. Use the pieces of leftover bits to make that. Once you've carefully drawn your extra shapes you want, carefully cut them out. And carefully check that they're going to fit where you want them to fit. And think about any other wee bits that you might want. I've decided that I want to put a little black stalk on the top of my pear that I'll also attach my leaf to. So I'm going to cut out a wee stalk and carefully get it organised and glue it into the right position at the top of my pear and then I will also glue my little leaf on that I've decided to add to the side of my stalk. Now you're almost finished your project. So to finish your project, take a piece of nice backing paper. It doesn't really matter what it is. It might be a piece of cardboard or a coloured card. I'm using a piece of plain black paper to put my piece of collage art on. Turn your collage art over and put lots and lots of glue on the back of it. Once you've done that, place it down onto the backing paper that you've chosen and press it down firmly. You need to push it down in all the corners. You may need to add more glue to make sure it is really well stuck. Once you've done that, carefully trim off the extras around the border so that you end up with a nice even border for your collage art. That looks fantastic. I would be so proud to put that on my wall and I bet your mums and dads would love to see the finished product and pop it up on the wall at home. So there we go guys, you've done a really, really good job. You should be really proud of what you've created today. I really like this and I would love to have this on my wall at home. So well done, good on you for working on it and hopefully we see you again next week for another project. Have fun, see you later.